So what is the best adhesive to use for foam board insulation? Polystyrene. Well, I decided to do a test and I did multiple tests with multiple different surfaces and multiple different types of foam. I've got the pink foam and I've got the blue foam. And this one is made by Dow and this one is made by Owens Corning. This is the Pink Panther foam, and this is the Blue Dow Styrofoam foam, polystyrene. <clears throat> I tried four different brands of adhesive. 3M High Strength 90, 3M Super 77, and Gorilla Spray Adhesive. Gorilla Glue, glue is actually fairly decent, um, the other stuff is but I'm gonna to get to this spray stuff here in a minute and then we have great stuff so as you can tell from the picture here which one turned out the best and I'm gonna tell you why great stuff turned out the best all around with super 77 coming in second with the blue polystyrene the Dow this pink panther foam it must be it is polystyrene it is extruded foam just like the blue dowel foam but it's a different texture it's got a different feel to it it feels a little more spongy um, and it does not the glue does not adhere to it as well the high strength 90 3m high strength 90 eats away at the foam regardless of whether you're using blue foam or pink foam the pink foam it's pretty much the same it's the same it's got a decent bond to it but if you pull pretty hard on it it's gonna come apart and then this is what you're left with this stuff it eats away at the foam and melts it away and that is going to cause a failure in the future of whatever project you're working on it will come apart eventually you're going to have voids in there and that is going if it's if it's structural then you know you're you're going to have a problem so it failed on all counts for each attempt now the reason i have two different pink foams is i glued a different side i glued this is the cut surface that I glued together and this is the factory service surface here so I did two separate adhesion tests and this test was the factory surface that comes from the factory onto itself this actually held fairly well as you can see there it broke a little bit and this is the 3m super 77 it held to the factory surface and I suspect it held better on this factory surface the smoother surface because it's smoother um, and then it it had this actually sat here longer uh, a shorter period of time than this did this as you can sell as you can tell the surface texture is rough I thought that would be a good thing um, because there's actually more surface area for the glue did here and it did not this, however, the Dow Styrofoam brand polystyrene held up very, very well with the Super 77. I could not pull this apart. If I, the, the foam will fail. It feels like the foam will fail before this joint fails. So that is the number two. Gorilla Glue. That really didn't turn out too well. As you can tell, it ate away at the foam a little bit. Not as much as the High Strength 90 did, as you can tell. You can see this stuff. This turned out fairly, um, fairly good as far as adhesion went. But if I pulled really hard when I pulled it apart, it clearly failed and it clearly ate into the foam. This did not eat in the Gorilla Glue did not eat into the foam as much, but it still failed, which. 
is a failure. I mean, there's no way I would use this at all for, for any project. <clears throat> the great stuff that held up on all three counts, I could not pull these apart without, and it, this foam will fail before the joint fails. So this stuff, is, the great stuff, is really is great stuff. It, it works. And it works just as well on the Owens Corning pink foam as it does the blue dowel foam. Okay? So there it is for right now. I'm going to come back and do some more testing. But for right now, the great stuff holds up better than everything that I've tried so far. Now I tried in another test, I did an Elmer's glue test, I did some other glue tests, some wood glue tests, but that didn't turn out as well. This, out of all the glues, and I've probably tried probably 10 different adhesives, the great stuff works better. This is a lot cheaper too. It's like $3 a can versus this one was 18. The Super 77, I think was on sale for $10, which was a good deal. And then this was like $15. The 3M High Strength 90 was, was like $15 or something like that. <clears throat> the Gorilla Glue, I believe it was $18, somewhere around $18. The great stuff is, hands down, it, it adheres better than anything uh, that I've used so far. And it's cheaper. The only, there is one drawback to this. Um, possibly to I've not tried to cut this with a wire knife so I know there's uh, a if, if you guys are, are thinking about a, a wire knife for this I'm not sure that's gonna work uh, I won't I don't know I don't have one so I wasn't able to do that test but it does hold up really well um, the other drawback the second drawback to this would be there's a gap this is expanding foam and it does cause a gap so you have to clamp this very well or it will expand and it will push the two layers apart so you're going to have a little gap in there if you can you can fill that up with with some more foam if you really wanted to after after the first set dries so there it is i hope that answered a lot of your questions thanks a lot for watching